Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to do another edition of the Ghost Hunters Report. Now, how many of you remember Tepco's cockamamie idea to put a frozen soil wall around the former nuclear power plant in Fukushima to reduce the amount of groundwater seeping into the reactor and become contaminated. Now the original plan was to kind of put a frozen wall on, around the plant and it reduced the amount of groundwater going to the plant by a, to 100 tons a day, which would be a great reduction from the current amount, which is way higher, somewhere around 300 tons a day. Now, this has been blocked after the government has spent an equivalent of about 300 million U.S. dollars, to put that in perspective, how much the government has dumped into this. By the way, TEPCO is currently owned by the government of Japan. This happened several years ago. So, all this money has been dumped into it, and the NRA here in Japan, the Nuclear Regulatory Agency, said, has finally said, no, not, you're not going to do this. Stop. This isn't going to work. They've cast doubt on it for one key reason. Their concern is what happens when the groundwater level goes too low. And when that happens, what they're saying is the contaminated water already in the plant is going to fall right into the ground and seep below the uh, frozen wall and contaminate the soil, making the problem worse. Now, some of you may remember I did a video or two about this whole crazy idea several years ago. I've been following this story for a while, and now it's finally come to a head to where, yeah, TEPCO, guess what? Uh, again, you're fucking crazy. And you come up, they come up with these quick fixes that don't really solve the problem of an unprecedented event like the meltdowns at Fukushima. And by the way, in case you're wondering, why is there so much contaminated water in, uh, in, the, in the reactor? Well, because down to the fact that there is melted f nuclear fuel in the bottom of the reactor, and that fuel, the groundwater has been leaking right into the reactor, getting in contact with that melted nuclear fuel, becoming highly radioactive. And if that gets into the soil, if you're wondering why that's a problem, well, that contaminates the soil, and you get everything that gets nutrients from that soil become mutated. And that's why you have all those farmland for miles and 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 miles from the plant basically being unusable. Even now, there's a list of several thousand farm sites that are still unusable. They can't use the land. The farmers have been really pissed off about this for a long time because the government tries to push, push them to grow crops. Well, they try to grow the crops. And they test them, and it's so radioactive they can't even sell it. So that's another issue altogether. But I want to hear what you think about this, the NRA blocking this plan finally and casting doubt on it to where TEPCO can't ensure they can maintain the groundwater level so the radioactive water already in the plant doesn't go right into the soil. Uh, I'm interested in hearing what you have to say about this. If you like this video, spread it around. Tell your friends. First time you see me, please subscribe. Lots of stuff like this, plus many other things. Until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Check it out.